up for everybody? Welcome to another edition of Me Time Gamer Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Fournier, for episode 11, early episode this week of episode 11, like I just said. Uh, hopefully you guys are going well. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. Uh, I'll start off this week. We got a we got a lot of news, a couple of new releases. We got a kickstart kickstarting it this week, so uh, hopefully you, you guys you'll enjoy the show and uh, let's get trucking. Our uh, first release, uh, we're 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 gonna look for the new releases for the week of April fourteenth next week. Our first game, uh, I would say the biggest of this list, is uh, Mortal Kombat X, f- coming out for PS4, PS3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. Uh, if you enjoy the Xbox, I've seen a couple of previews for Mortal Kombat game, and it really seemed enjoyable. There is a full list of all the characters that are will be available so far, and uh, there was floating around a couple of special character coming in DLC form a bit later. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy Mortal Kombat, you should. More, if you guys enjoy Mortal Kombat, you should definitely go check that out. Uh, the next couple of games were coming out next week. Uh, the ones I was able to find, you get Titan Souls coming out to PS4 and PS Vita. You also get Color Guardians coming out to PS4. And the last game on the list is uh, We Are Doomed coming out. We Are Doomed coming to PS4 and Xbox One next week, uh, and that's all the games I was able to find right now on uh, this Wednesday morning, uh, if you uh, if you guys are looking for the full list, I'll probably have that list out uh, on Sunday or Monday of next week, sorry if I've missed two weeks there of uh, posting my new release article, I've been a bit busy and uh, didn't have time to do that so much, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it this weekend and uh, We'll get a big li- list, but I don't think there's more than f- four or five games coming out uh, for uh, next week. Alright, so let's mo- go straight on to This Week in News. Alright, so uh, the first two article news are pretty much bad news. Get bad news out of the way first. Uh, one game I was really hopeful hopeful on playing this year, but unfortunately is now on, uh, on to next year, is a Qu- Quantum Break set to launch in 2016. Uh, so uh, the, on the Remedy Games website, uh, they uh, they got an article posted uh, explaining why, and it goes a bit like this. It says, Today, Microsoft Studio, today being on April 2nd, uh, today, Microsoft Studios announced that the highly anticipated action adventure Quantum Break will launch in 2016. Uh, quote, With so many Xbox One games launch, launching this year, moving Quantum Break into 2016 extends our incredible portfolio into next year with a monster new IP, said Shannon Lofty, head of publishing at Microsoft Studio. Uh, Quantum Break is created by Remini Entertainment, the critically acclaimed studio behind Max Payne and Alan, blah, 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 blah. So, if, a little bit more PR PR talk, talking about Remedy and what they've done before. Uh, then they quote again, uh, We really hope to be part of the incredible Xbox One lineup, said Sam Lake, creative director at Remedy. We thank our fans for their patience and want them to know that the team is taking advantage of this opportunity to polish and fine-tune the game to create a kind of standout entertaining experience they've come to expect from us so hopefully uh hopefully that it will uh, the time that the extra time they, they they will take will make an awesome game so far i only seen one preview floating around was from e gamescom or e3 of last year and i was sold on the game pretty much so hopefully the, it'll live, it will live up to those uh to that gameplay footage that we saw last year, and uh, we'll get something really awesome next year once it comes out. Uh, the next little item on the list is uh, another delay, unfortunately, for the the more Nintendo f- n- Nintendo fans out there. Um, this one, this article is from you know, on Eurogamer.net by uh, Jeffrey Matulef, and it's about Zelda being delayed until 2016, also. So, the article reads, The highly anticipated Wii U Zelda game won't be out in 2015. Siri producers Haiji Anuma revealed today in a development update video. Nintendo also noted on Twitter that the game won't be shown off at this year's E3 in June. 
This may come as a surprise to some at Anuma just said in December that the upcoming Zelda was on track for 2015. So what's the hold up? It turns out that Onuma and company have been discovering all new game play possibilities as they've been deciding the first full designing the first full open world Zelda, Zelda adventure. Quote, in these last three months, as, as the team has experienced firsthand the freedom of exploration that hasn't existed in any Zelda game to date, we have discovered several new possibilities that this game, he explains, for this game, sorry, he explained, as we have worked to turn these possibilities into a reality, the new idea has continued to spring forth. It now feels like we have the potential to create something that exceeds ev- even my own expectations. Uh, we are no longer making our 2015 release our number one priority. Instead, our priorities priority is to make it it the most complete and ultimate Zelda game. He ha- he added. Hope to use this added time to make the Legend of Zelda for Wii U into a game that will reward you for every per- pa- for your patience. So that's about it for the Zelda news. Again, this is one game. Unfortunately, I don't have. I don't have a Wii U to play this game, but I think I would almost want to buy it just to play this game. But we, who knows? Uh, I may be lucky enough to get a Wii U and try that out eventually when it comes out. But for now, uh, we're just going to have to wait for a Zelda game. Especially Zelda, Zelda is one of my uh, all-time Nintendo favorite game. But unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a bit longer to enjoy that game a bit more. On to the next little news we have here for the fans, for the Xbox players out there. Uh, they announced uh, Halo 5 Guardians coming out uh, on October 27, 2015. So uh, if you guys have been waiting for Halo 5 now for a while and it's finally coming out, um, they, they did so in like a sort of a couple teasers, small trailers. Uh, one featuring, I don't remember their names that much, but one once you got one of the trailers, you got Master Chief and the other one is... Uh, general or some i'm sorry i don't remember the name exactly right now but anyway they, it was sort of a little ad campaign they were rolling there and then they showed the two th- trailers coming out with the uh, release dates on them and you, you can actually pre-order it now uh, on their website so uh yeah so if you're in a, a halo fan hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, little announcement of coming up later this year Ho- Hopefully it won't get delayed like all the other games that's been happening lately. And uh, we'll be able to enjoy Halo like everybody else. Uh, our next little news. Uh, the the Today was... Yes, sorry. Yesterday was the release of the April free games. The April free games for uh, PS Plus uh, for the month of April. So if you got a PS Plus subscription, uh, your games that you're getting this year... Uh, this month, sorry... Uh, will be the first one on the list is uh, Tower of Guns coming to PS4 and PS3. Uh, this is just what I've seen of the trailers of this game is just a uh, straight up like shoot 'em up, uh, going up a tower. Well, the game the game says it's pretty much in the in the title, but shoot 'em up, going up, going up a tower, uh, getting more and more powerful guns, guns defeating waves and waves upon them, waves of enemies. So on and so on. So if you guys are uh, like that, those things, you can check Tower of Gun out. The next game for PS4 is Never Alone. Uh, so if you haven't played Never Alone, uh, definitely go check out my review on our uh, MeTimeGamer.com for sure. And there, go click on that review tab, and it should be one of the last ones I did so far. Uh, it's an amazing game. I I gave it a th- if I remember, I gave it a nine. 8.5 or 9, I don't remember. Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so if you would like to try Never Alone, now's your chance. Uh, it was a very intriguing game. It explains the life of uh, uh, of, a, of an Alaskan tribe there. So it w- it was very interesting. When I, I don't remember all the terms and everything like that, but, like that, but definitely go check it out. It was a very interesting uh, invent- adventure when I try. I tried it. So the next game is for PS3 is Dishonored, a very well received game from last year, the year before. Don't quite remember. I think it's two years ago. Um, very it's a stealth type game, and uh, it it was very fun. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to try that game out. I heard a lot of good things about that game. So that was Dishonored for PS3. Next game for PS3, but it's also available for PS4 too, is uh, Aru's Awakening. 
I'm not too sure. I haven't seen any previews for that one. So you guys are going to have to go check that out on your health and find it or find a trailer, whichever one you feel like it. Uh, next one is for the PS Vita, getting Killzone Mercenary, uh, sort of a title that came out the same time as a Kill Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, basically just a PS Vita title, so definitely go check that out. And a new game coming out, but also free for PS Plus, is Monster Bag. So the definition they are they are giving on the PlayStation blog is an adorable an adorable puzzle game about a bag shaped monster named V trying to reach his friend Nia without scaring the pants off of people. May or may not include a battle of wit, skill, and an inevitable apocalypse. So that's that's that seems like a cute little fun puzzle game that you guys can try out for sure. And uh, that's that's all the games we're getting for PS Plus this month. It's not too bad of a list. It's not like last month. Last month seemed like we had such a better list. But hey, we can't we can't always get like big title games every month. So uh, yeah. So the next little piece of news. This one's uh, this one I found very interesting. So of course they announced the delay of Batman uh, last week or the week before, if I remember correctly, uh, two weeks ago. So a lot of people were upset, but it's it's only. 21 days more or something like that. I don't remember exactly. It was two weeks more you have to wait. But anyway, they announced a limited edition Batman Arkham Knight PS4 bundle, which looks pretty awesome if you guys can find a picture for it. Uh, basically, uh, on the PS blog again, by uh, this article is written by John Kohler. Uh, they basically say that This special bundle will be available for $450. It will include the limited edition steel gray PS4 system chassis with a custom battle Batman Arkham Knight faceplate, a matching dual shock 4 wireless controller in steel gray, and the explosive fi- finale of the award winning Arkham Arkham trilogy Batman Arkham Knight. In addition to the limited edition bundle, we also have a Batman Arkham Knight PS4 bundle available for $400, which includes a PS4 system, a dual shock 4 controller in jet black, and Batman Arkham Knight, both limited and standard edition Batman Arkham Knight, but provides a perfect opportunity to upgrade your, to your PS4. So basically, you're getting you're, you're getting two Batman bundle, one with the super cool looking PS4 Batman faceplate and all that stuff, and the, the other one you just get the standard PS4, but you get you get you get it bundled up with the PS4. So that's always a cool little feature. There's also some they were talking about uh, as an added bonus. All owners of Batman Arkham Knight on PS4 will get access to bonus content before it's, it's available anywhere else, including additional in-game missions, custom skins for Batman, and the Batmobile. All of this will be available with both the bundle and the game launch on June 23rd. So that's it. Looks really cool. If you guys can go find that uh, article, it's a very nice looking uh, console itself. Uh, silver does look very awesome on it. Uh, hopefully, they'll make more of these faceplates. Though, to, really would be interesting to see nice fa- faceplate that match. Uh, the, the, of course, the jet black one, but also um, a nice looking uh, console itself. So, our next little article that we have is the last one on the list. Uh, actually, a news came out yesterday on Tuesday. Is a uh, video game Five Nights at Freddy getting a movie treatment? So, this is an exclusive uh, from the Hollywood Reporter, written by Boris Kitt. Uh, basically, the article reads as follows. Uh, Warner Brothers has picked up the rights to Five Nights at Freddy's, the popular video game series created by Scott Cowton. Cotton, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. The feature adaptation will be produced by Rory Lee of Vertigo Entertainment, as well as Seth Graham Smith and David Katzenberg at Katz Smith Productions. The game takes place in Freddy's Fa- Fazbear's Pizza, a dark version of Chuck E. Cheese, where an animatronic animal band performs kitty songs by day and goes on murderous rampage by night. The goal of the game is to fi- survive. A night locked inside knowing that the furry death machine might jump out of the dark at any moment. Uh, quote, We're looking forward to working with Scott to make an in- insane, terrifying, and really adorable movie, said Graham Smith. Uh, quote, The story really l- lends itself to being a movie and it taps into a large, unexplored niche of horror that a lot of people will be able to relate to, said Cotton. Uh, the, pro- uh, the project is currently out to writers. Uh, Adam Stone and Jay Arlen will exec- executive produce 
and uh, John Bird and Nick Mavencurve are overseeing for Warner. Uh, for a little bit of insight here, Lee Lee was a producer on Warner Warner's Liam Neeson acting thriller Run All Night, and has the Poltergeist remake due to open in May 22nd. Uh, Graham Smith and Kensenberg, meanwhile, are developing Beetlejuice sequel. So that's it for the Five Nights at Freddy. I don't know if you guys are a fan. I've seen a couple people stream Five Nights at Freddy, and it does. It is really interesting. Basically, you're in really just one location, sitting down and making sure those animatronic robots don't get to you. And the premise of the game is really interesting, and I can't wait to see if they can make an awesome movie out of this. It does lend itself to making an awesome movie, like like the writer of this that article says. So that's it for this week in news. Uh, that's all the news that I found interesting for this week that I was able to find. So let's move. Uh, so let's move on to what I played this week. Uh, basically, since I've been s- focusing more on streaming, I've been playing a lot of different games. Yesterday, uh, during uh, Easter weekend, I pl- I, f- I played and finished. Uh, yesterday, that is on Monday, um, Easter Monday. Sorry, uh, I played. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Uh, I'm the only thing I'll say about that game is it was fun. I this that's my first Metal Gear Solid game I ever played. I've watched other people play the the, the original ones, but that's the actual first time that I like, get my hands on to play the game itself. Uh, I was a bit disappointed. No boxes in this one, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, but um, uh, I'm happy I did not buy the game myself. I I was I. I, I borrowed it from my brother, and uh, I'm happy I didn't buy it for $20, because a game that's only an hour and a half long... The game was fun, but it wasn't $20 fun for a half, one and a half hour when I was done. So, hopefully I'll be able to make a video you guys can check out at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash me time gamer. Uh, I'll try to cut it down a bit, because there's a lot of spaces where I just stand there and wait for people to pass on and do stuff, and of course all the knickknacks of... Uh, um, Metal Gear Solid. Other games that I played, looking through the list, I played a lot of Far Cry 4, trying to get through the through the story a bit more. I'm not fully there yet. I'm almost done. I, I, I've unlocked all the towers there in the second, the north portion, and stuff like. That. I'm taking my time. I'm trying to just do a lot of stuff at the same time. Also advanced in the story of PS4 of uh, the GTA 5 PS4 edition version of rigmarole thing there. Uh, just playing a lot of that. Uh, what else did I stream? I was streaming a lot of different games. I'm trying to keep it varied here. Uh, a little bit more of Outlast, if I remember. Uh, a lot of a uh, lot of uh, Slender. Finally found those eight pages. It took me a lot less time. Because it seems to be somewhat procedurally generated, the levels. But I think there's only a couple types. So it's not procedurally generated. But I think there's there's like two different types of uh, uh, layouts of the level or something like that. The second time I played for the the pages took me about 30 minutes or so to get through it. Instead of taking two hours of rolling around trying to find the last page and uh, Slender Jack there trying to grab me or something like that. So that was always fun. I, then I got to the second level, and you have to start com- compressors or generators in that one, and a little bit harder. I got I got killed after getting three of them out of six, and then I stopped. Wanted to stream something else. Uh, did I play? Oh, I did. I did play some um, Forza Horizon Two presents Fast and Furious. Uh, I was trying to stream that one, but for some reason my Xbox did not want what it to pop up on Twitch itself because I do I do watch my my stream at the same time to to check out this the the chat and stuff since I don't have a PC to to, to stream on so uh, uh, yeah I couldn't even find my uh, I could find my page on the Twitch app but it 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 read like if it was inactive on the Twitch streaming so uh, hopefully they can fix that I, I did everything right for sure I double checked everything before I started like I always do and everything was rolling fine anyway uh, for, for 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 the Forza game uh, to be honest I don't play a lot of racing games but I was really not impressed by the controls of the cars uh, it, it felt like I was trying to turn something that wasn't meant to be turned or turned and uh, stuff like that. it just felt weird playing that game. Like I still won the races, but I was like 
really complicated. I was sliding a lot more than I wanted to. The turning was weird. I don't know if it's because it was it gave me fast cars from the beginning or something like that. But it was still really weird to try to drive it. Anyway, I, st I still enjoyed it, but not like I I, I didn't play that much. So I was I, it might just be me not being good at car games. But at least I tried. I gave it a I gave it a, gave it a fair shot. Uh, hopefully, I will uh, tomorrow night when I'll be back on streaming, where you guys can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash metimegamer. Uh, I will be streaming probably some GTA 5. Uh, I'll just probably be screwing around, just doing anything pretty much. Uh, you guys can definitely come and chat with me anytime about anything. I don't mind. I like talking about anything you guys want to talk about or you guys want to get tips or pointers or anything. I, I really don't mind. Um... I think that's all the games I've been playing for the last week or so. Uh, there's a big list. Anyway. Uh, okay. Alright. So that's it for what I've been playing. Uh, let's move on to kickstarting it. Alright. So if you're new to the... If you are new to the podcast or the website, uh, basically kickstarting it is a weekly article uh, that features a, a game... Uh, a, game, a selected game from Kickstarter or similar websites. Each week, I select one game and then I talk about it, uh, give it some, uh, uh, go through the list of what's going on with it and all that rigmarole, and uh, and I feature it in an article and then I feature it in the podcast, like I will do in a couple of seconds here. Uh, give you the rundown and all those jibber jabber and all those things. So, right, this this week, the game I chose uh, was actually an interesting game. It's called The 31st. Basically, uh, well, I'll get, I'll get on that after. Uh, the, the description of it after. Uh, the devel It's devel developed by Th Terraton Software. So, as of April 7th, there was 24 backers. Uh, they need... To the, they're trying to raise $65,000 and they have collected $1,110 so far uh, what else uh, the, the, the funding ends on Monday, May 4th at 4.03pm uh, 4, 4 p.m. Eastern Time and it's a game coming out on PS4, PC and Mac so if you guys go to metimegamer.com, when you you go you scroll down to the uh, kickstarting an article featuring the 31st, and there's a two and a half minute uh, video kick, uh, Kickstarter video that they made that you can check out. Uh, that's what I ch uh, checked out myself, and it's really interesting. Uh, basically, the general premise of the game is uh, playing as Gus Grave, a firefighter from Tim Timber Valley. You must fight through six intense, action-packed, large levels of unique Halloween Halloween-inspired monsters in this first-person shoo shooter. Shooter. But mindless shooting is not the forte of this game. You will also have to explore the depths of your new surroundings to find hidden areas and also discover the story behind what really happened in this location. From another from an, the, the, from this location from another dimension. Looking through the, all the screenshots and videos, the game seems interesting and has a nice approach to the whole Halloween theme. I like the design of the game as well as the kookiness of the weapons and the enemies. The game pulls a bit on the humorous side of things and looks enjoyable, so definitely go check their kickstarting kicks kickstarting Kickstarter page, and uh, definitely go help them out. So I also have on the on the kickstarting it article. There's also a Kickstarter link to their page, so you guys can check that out. And if you look, if you guys would like to your game to be featured on kickstarting, please send us and please send me an email at contact at metimegamer.com and with the subject title kickstarting it requests so that's going to be it for this uh, it's going to be this that's it for this week uh, on the podcast I would like to thank uh, Technoax for the intro outro music for sure and of course one thing I forgot to mention uh, still pretty early but uh, I'm still going to promote it anyway still promoting for uh, Chio taking place November 7th 
uh, this year at 8 a.m. Uh, if you don't know what uh, Extra Life is, Extra Life is basically players uh, gather. Uh, uh, you can donate money to f- to any uh, children hospital. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Gamers play for 24 hours while they accumulate uh, donations for a selected uh, children hospital of their choosing. Um, you can donate anything you want. Uh, basically, it helps out sick kids. It's all children hospital, of course, like I already said. Uh, basically, it's a yearly event. Many people do it. All the big gaming companies, media outlets, and all those stuff do it. Uh, I decided to do this in my first year doing it, and I'm really happy having two kids. I know that it's not always easy having uh, uh, like kids staying healthy and all those, but... There's even more unfortunate kids where they stay in the hospital all the time. So that's something that if you want to help them out, definitely come, go click on the, well, the link, basically the um, the web link where you can go donate to Me Time Gamer. It's uh, www.extra-life.org forward slash participant forward slash Me Time Gamer. So basically you go on that link, you give anything you want from a dollar to whatever you want. Uh, my goal for this year is raising a thousand dollars, which seems reason- really reasonable uh, for this early in the uh, in 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 the running. So hopefully you guys will find it the two extra minute and donate whatever you want. It could be five dollars; it doesn't matter as long as you help those kids out. It's always interesting. Uh, you guys can definitely go check out my affiliates uh, at metimegamer.com forward slash affiliates. Uh, I just added a new one today. I got uh, the cool guys at CD Keys, which features uh, awesome products from Xbox, PlayStation, and so on. Uh, also, we got our normal affiliates like every week, G2A.com, PlayAsia.com. Got uh, affiliate links for Amazon, Canada, and US. We got PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store. Uh, two of my favorite, ThingGeek.com, where you can get all your geeky stuff, uh, t-shirts and all those kind of ja- all that kind of jazz. Uh, we can all you can also go check out tfury.com, which they have a cool new design every day for eleven dollars. Uh, it's good. For, the design's good for twenty four twenty four hours. Then it goes into their collection, which you have to pay like twenty dollars after or something like that. I don't remember the exact price. So definitely go check them. I I I I own a lot of their t-shirt because for eleven dollars, pretty good price, and their products are pretty awesome. Also got you play store, origin store, gamestop.com. Uh, we got Razer headsets, Skull Candy headset. Uh, we also got uh, some. When you sign up for, you can uh, link to sign up to play Pac-Man online for stuff like. Uh, for if you enjoy that, uh, we also got a iTunes affiliate link, Walmart Canada link, and of course down there I got a GoFundMe page. And uh, if you guys feel like, if you guys don't, you feel like using the affiliate links and you want to help out, uh, everything helps uh, for sure. Uh, GoFundMe.com. Uh, so, and that's it for the affiliate page. If you want to find the podcast, you can where I stream it all the time. All my podcasts on Stitcher dot uh, the Stitcher app. Uh, you can also find it on iTunes. Very popular on iTunes. And uh, tune in and Audio Mac. Audio Mac. You can even download there if you feel like it. Uh, if you guys have something to say, if you got a comment, suggestion, critiques, question. Topic, uh, sorry, subject, uh, games for kickstarting it, and anything else you can think of, you can send an email at podcast at metimegamer.com. If you'd like to place an ad on the podcast, you can send us an email at contact at metimegamer.com. If you want to follow me, there's many ways you can do that. The ones I pr- the one I promote the most right now is Twitch. Uh, Twitch. You can go to twitch.tv forward slash metimegamer. Uh, go go follow me there. That's what I do the rest of the week. Uh, since I don't write any more news article and stuff like that, uh, I'm there every day almost, pretty much, except when I'm recording the podcast, like right now. Uh, definitely go check that out. It really helps. You can check out the page, follow the page. <clears throat> I play any game. I play a lot of different games. I got a lot on hand. You can. I got a list of games I play on there and much many more. I got the schedule. I play all day, and of course. Uh, there's a donation page, of course, if you guys want to help me. What I really want to do, I really want to start uh, streaming more professionally, and I, of course, I need equipment to do that. Uh, any donation will go towards that, of course. I, I need a, a capture device. Uh, any, I would need a laptop to do that. So, uh, because I don't play PC games, but to stream professionally, I, I would need to get like, uh, 
like I got the software ready and up and running on my my older PC, but I can't run I can't run games on it or anything like that. So anything you you want to if you want to help, definitely go check the Twitch page. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, definitely go check me out on Twitch. Uh, if you don't, if um, if uh, you don't want to go to Twitch every time, but of course I'm on Twitter too, twitter.com forward slash me time gamer at me time gamer. Um, I'm there most of the time. Also, that's the other social media that I use the most. Uh, you can definitely I put if I do like spontaneous streaming that I feel like doing. It's going to be on Twitch. Uh, uh, it's going to be on Twitter. Sorry. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about uh, Twitch because I was coughing my uh, my heart out. Uh, there is a I am I am doing a giveaway right now where I'm giving away a uh, the order 1886 poster when I uh, when I reach a hundred follow hundred followers on Twitch. So the only thing you have to do on that is only you only need to follow the page. Then after that, I select somebody. Uh, I I select somebody from the list uh, of my followers when once I, once I reach a hundred, and uh, then I'll get in contact and I'll send you a poster. If you go on Twitter. There should be a picture on there on one of my latest tweets of the poster, the one's uh, flesh and hands, uh, the one I got on, uh, in my hands right now, uh, uh, at that time, of course. And uh, other places you can check us out, of course. You can go check us out, like I mentioned earlier, on youtube.com forward slash user forward slash me time gamer. Uh, I try to post uh, videos of some of the Twitch streams I do, not all of them, because they, they don't, they're not all top shelf quality and, uh, the right now of course why I need more donations to get um, better streaming uh, software and hardware uh, to get better quality videos of course for YouTube um, uh, right now the PS4 doesn't doesn't have uh, the best quality and I don't think my I'm not directly connected to my internet on my uh, on my PS4 or Xbox one so quality is not always there but I still put awesome videos uh, like highlights I don't push I don't put a two. I try not to put a two-hour video of me playing and not saying anything, and the characters standing in, in the same corner for two hours. Uh, another thing, we're on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash me time gamer, uh, and we're also on Reddit, uh, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash me time gamer. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Post all. I only post the articles there and stuff like that. And you guys, if you want to post stuff to it, it's all it's all open game on that. And that's going to be it for this game, this this week in the podcast. Jeez, I have a hard time talking this week. That's going to be uh, that's going to be that's it for this week. Uh, hopefully, I will see you guys on the Twitch Twitch TV forward slash Me Time Gamer. Uh, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy. And hopefully, I will see you on the Twitch on the Twitch stream. And I'm just repeating myself, so I'm going to end it now because I don't know what to say anymore. So. Uh, See you guys there. Hopefully you guys have a lot of game to enjoy like I do. And uh, have a good one, guys. See you next week.